All right, so to begin with prime factorization, we first of all meet this keyword, prime. And we ask ourselves, what is a prime number? Now we've discussed this heavily in class and hopefully everyone remembers, but a prime number only has two factors. And those two factors are always one and itself. All right, the very first prime number, which is really important, is two. Then we have three, five, seven, 11, and so on. The next question we're asked is, what does the word product mean? And product is another word for multiply. So if I gave you two numbers, say four and three, and I said, find the product of four and three, the answer to that would be 4 multiplied by 3, which would be 12. So product is another word for multiply. Okay, so using these two keywords, we're now going to move on to today's lesson. All right, so we are now looking at to break down any number into a product of prime factors. So you can see these red words here are really important to understand. Factors, we met this before when we were studying highest common factor, and they are parts of numbers. So, our aim today is to be able to break down any number into prime factors and be able to multiply those to get a product. To do this, we use factor trees. Alright, so my first question here says, write as a product of prime numbers the number 60. Now, we should have a clear understanding of what a prime number is. It's a number that only has two factors. And product, then, the next word here, we've met product before, and that really means multiply. So what we're asked for is we're asked to give prime numbers that when you multiply them together, you will get 60. And to do that, we are going to do factor trees. Okay, so we start off this by writing down the number that we're looking to figure out, which in this instance is 60. So I'm going to fill 60 in at the top here. I'm now going to ask myself one question. And that question is, list two factors of 60. Now, we've listed factor pairs before, and we always said that the first factor pair we go with is 1 and 60. I'm going to ask us not to choose that Okay, so any other factor pair that works for 60. Okay, and in my head now, the first number that's coming to me here is 10 and 6. Or 6 and 10. So we know that they are a factor pair which give me 60. Okay, I'm then going to ask myself another question. Step 2. Is this a prime number? So I'm looking originally at the number 10, and I'm asking myself, is this a prime number? The answer is no, and if it's not, I continue on, and I go back to step one, except this time I'm listing two factors of 10. So can I list two factors of 10? And I'm not gonna choose 10 and one, I'm gonna choose any other pair. Uh, and I'm going to go for 5 times 2. I've followed through with step 1. I've listed the factors. Now step 2, is this a prime number? Well, I'm looking at number 5 here. Is it a prime number? Yes, it is. The second one I'm looking at, number 2, is this a prime number? Yes, it is. Okay, and if the answer is yes, then you're finished. All right, so yes, you're finished. I have split 10 up into five and two. They're both prime numbers, so that section is done. Okay, I'm gonna move back up to this section here and to the six, the factor six. So again, I need to split the factor six in to two factors because it is not a prime number, so I must repeat the process. So two factors of six that are coming to my mind here are going to be three and two. 3 times 2 is 6. And then I'm going to ask myself the second question here. Is it a prime number? If it's yes, then I'm finished. And if it's no, I must repeat the process. So is 3 a prime number? The answer is yes. 
And the last question asks, is two a prime number? And of course, the answer is yes, it's the very first prime number. So what I have done here first year is, if I, is I have split 60 into two factors. I've then asked myself, is this a prime number? No, then I must have split it into two factors again. Is this a prime number? Yes, I'm finished. Yes, I'm finished. Yes, I'm finished. Yes, I'm finished. So we follow that process and you can see how the tree is growing um, bigger and wider uh, on the bottom. Okay, so I'm still not finished because if I go back to my question, it said write this as a product of prime numbers. And we know that product means multiply. So we are asking for prime numbers that when I multiply them together, I will get 60. So let's test and see if we're correct. So I'm going to look at my answers down here on the bottom. This is going to be where I'm going to do my calculations. So it is, write it in blue, 5 times 2 times 3 times 2. Are all of these prime numbers? Yes. When I multiply them together, do I get 60? And the answer is yes. 5 times 2 is 10, times 3 would be 30. And 30 times 2 gives me 60. So the answer is correct. That's a factor tree of the number 60. Now, if I wanted brownie points, I could have a look at this here and see if I could make this a little bit neater. Rather than writing by 2 by 2, a way we can uh, make that a little bit shorter in maths is to write it in indices or index notation. And so I would have 5 times 3 multiplied by, and because there's two twos, I could write two squared. Now, I know we haven't met that yet, but it's nice to be aware of it. And that will also give me 60. One last example then, write as a product of prime numbers, the number 56. So let's remember our two steps and our hints. So step one was list out two factors. Step two was to ask ourselves if this is a prime number, and then, if the answer was yes, we're finished. And if the answer was no, we had to repeat the process. Okay, so I'm gonna start off this time by drawing my circle up at the top. And my question is asked, right as a product of prime numbers, the number 56. So I'm gonna put 56 in my circle. Now, I'm gonna follow step one, which is list two factors of this number. So two factors of 56. I suppose for me, the first one coming into my mind from my times tables and from primary school was seven times eight. Okay, I'm now going to move on to step two and I'm going to ask myself, I'm going to first of all focus on number seven. Is this a prime number? And you can tell me if it is or not. That's right. It is a prime number. And the second part I need to look at then is what do I do if it is a prime number? Well, according to my steps down here, I'm finished. So let's put a little tick beside that. Let's move on then over to the other side, which is eight. And I'm asking myself now two questions here. Is this a prime number? Is the number eight a prime number? The answer is no. And then I must repeat the process. So step one was list two factors. So I'm going to list two factors of eight. And for me, they are four and two. Four twos are eight. Okay, go down to step two. Is this a prime number? Is four a prime number? The answer is no. So I must repeat the process again. So two factors that give me four and they are 2 times 2. So I asked myself the second question, is this a prime number? And I know 2 is the very first prime number, so yes, so I'm finished. Let's go on back up to 8 and down to this side here. We were at number 2. Is 2 a prime number? It is. So I'll put a little tick beside it and I'm finished. So you can see, at the end of all of my trees, I just have prime numbers. So. We're not done yet, we've done all the hard work, but we have to prove our answers. So step one then, what we're hoping to do here is to, I'm just gonna make this a little bit smaller if I can. Oh, it's not really working for me. Okay, so I'm gonna move all that up there. And I'm going to write it down as a product of prime numbers. So as a product of prime numbers, I'm going to use the last number on all of my trees. And it is seven 
multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2, multiplied by 2. I am asking myself the question, just give myself a quick check. Are all these numbers prime? Yes. 7 twos are 14, times 2 is 28, times 2 is 56. So the answer is 56, which is what I wanted to start with. Is there a way I can make this even nice and neater? I can use my index notation. So it is 7 multiplied by how many twos is there? There is 3 twos. So it's 2 to the power of 3. And that would also give me 56. So there you have it. Another example of how we can write the product of prime numbers using our factor trees. Okay, so if you want to have a little bit of a learning check at home, this is a question you can have a go with. Write as a product of prime numbers the number 24. So go through your steps, look back through the lesson and see can you manage to get a proper factor tree for 24. And I'll see everybody tomorrow.